Hey loves, Tony of TL Yarn Crafts here and I just found out some amazing news. One of my favorite websites, We Crochet, now carries tools and notions from the Hook Nook. You used to only be able to get these at Joanne, but now you can find the full collection of Jessica's hooks, craft tools, and notions on the We Crochet website. Today I'm going to try a few different products, give you my likes and dislikes, and round it out with a rating between 1 and 10 hooks. Now let's get to it. Let's start with the Hook Nook Designer Project Bag. This is a large bag measuring 14 by 10 inches. The outside is felt, the inside is polyester silk, and the handles are a pretty soft faux fur leather. I really like the special touch of the metal, the Hook Nook logo, as well as the simple closure at the top. Inside you'll find lots of pockets for hooks and pencils as well as a zipper pouch which is perfect for smaller notions. The Hook Nook Designer Bag will set you back about 40 bucks on the We Crochet website. I like a lot of things about this bag. Even with its lightweight materials it does feel sturdy. It's a great size for a laptop or tablet plus any project that you're currently working on. Besides that I'm also a sucker for pockets and this one has plenty. The only thing I can't really vibe with is the price. I mean, I don't know, $39.99 seems like a lot considering what this bag is made of. And for that reason, the Hook Nook Designer Project Bag gets 8 out of 10 hooks from me. Next up, we have a few embellishments. So these seem like a really cute way to put a special finishing touch on a handmade piece. First, let's look at these gold ones. This four pack of gold buttons mirrors the Hook Nook's floral theme. They're two inch rounds and made from a sturdy heavy metal coated with a gold finish. They have four holes on the back to keep them secure to the finished piece. The pack as shown will run you $9.99. They're really cute and I could easily see these on a crocheted hat or even a backpack. We also have these wood labels that say handmade and I made this. Wood labels were all the rage in the crochet and knit world a little while back and I'm glad to see them in the Hook Nooks collection. These are a good quality rigid wood with a dark stain. The lettering is laser engraved so it won't wear off and you have a hole on either side of the labels and they measure 1.75 inches long. I really like these for hats and I do wonder if they would hold up well in the washing machine. At $5.99 for six labels, I really hope that they do. <laughs> As a set, I'll give these packs of embellishments seven out of 10 hooks. There's nothing inherently wrong with them and they are a nice way to spruce up your craft projects. I just find that I don't really love them or hate them either way. Now let's talk about these skein savers. According to the We Crochet website, you can wrap these around your yarn to keep the ball from unraveling. You get three elastics in a pack and there are two different styles. This one has gold and white accents and there's another one with more colorful glittery details. Each pack costs $7.99. Now look, I don't know about anybody else, but when I was little we called these click clacks and bobos and we put these in our hair. Never did I expect to see them used for yarn, but you know what? I get it. They're cute and they probably do help keep your yarn from getting messy when you drop it in your project bag. I'm keeping an open mind and I'm giving these 7 out of 10 hooks for effort. Here I have the Hook Nooks 3 pack of metal pins. Each one has a fun saying like I'm hooked on you and yarn addict. They vary in size and shape and they're pretty big compared to everyday enamel pins. They do have a rubber grip on the back which is an awesome upgrade from those scratchy metal ones. This set of metal pins costs $9.99 on the We Crochet website and that feels like a good price point for what you get. I immediately put these on my pin wall but they would also look great on project bags and denim jackets. Maybe I'm a little biased since I love collecting pins but I really like these and I'm proud to give them 10 out of 10 hooks. And now we're getting to the good stuff. With a name like the Hook Nook, the crochet hooks better be on point. Now this collection offers resin hooks in two sizes. The regular size costs $9.99 each and the jumbo size costs between $6.99 and $9.99 each. There are seven hooks in the regular size ranging from G to N and six in the jumbo line ranging from 12 millimeter to 35 millimeter. The regular hooks have an ergonomic shape and a long handle which is perfect for my big hands but I was super skeptical about the hook head when I first laid eyes on it. I mean is it me or is the throat really shallow? Okay let's give this hook a try. 
Now the first thing I notice is this nice little bump at the base of the shaft of these hooks. Like most hooks with handles, this bump keeps the working loop near the tip of the yarn. That's great for hand health and for speedier crocheting. Okay, so making chains was easy peasy and I had really high hopes at this point, but as I expected, that shallow throat made pulling loops through really difficult. It's like they slipped right off. I had to work much slower than I normally do, and even then I had issues with splitting the yarn. I will say, once I did get through a row, my stitches were pretty even and neat, so there's that. <laughs> I just don't think my crochet style is conducive to these hooks, so I have to give them 4 hooks out of 10. I was really excited to try these jumbo hooks out though. I received a 12 millimeter, which is the smallest of the jumbo hooks, as well as a 22 millimeter size. The tip of these hooks looks a lot more like what I'm used to, and I like the length of them. They're about nine and a half inches, which will help a lot when working with heavier yarns. I also like that the size was etched into the handle. This is a major attention to detail and I love it. I was able to zoom right along with the 12 millimeter hook on this super bulky yarn. The resin material is lightweight and the crochet hook head is truly perfect. I can even pop a rubber band at the bottom of this hook and use it for Tunisian crochet. I didn't have the perfect yarn to try out the 22 millimeter hook, but I gave it a try anyway with this chunky cotton. It worked up just fine and was really comfortable in my hand. I personally don't have many jumbo hooks in my collection, so these are a welcome addition. I'll give them 9 out of 10 hooks. I just had to knock a hook off for the weirdly inconsistent hook heads. I mean, what is that even about? And while we're on the subject of hooks, why don't we talk about this nifty interchangeable crochet hook set. I've seen products like this at one-off trade shows, so it's really nice to see a branded product that's available to everyone. This nine piece set comes with two handles and six hook heads in a black zipper pouch with gold accents. The hook head sizes are five millimeter, five and a half, six, six and a half, eight and 10 millimeter. Why no nine millimeter? The world may never know. Now to use these hooks, you just pop out the handle and a tip, screw them together and start crocheting. The handles are a hard plastic and the shape reminds me of the resin hooks from the Hook Nook collection. This set costs $39.99 on the WeCrochet website site and considering how much I spent on crochet hooks that is actually pretty good. Now I did have some difficulty using these right out of the package. There was some kind of like a sticky residue on the metal tips and it prevented the yarn from sliding evenly. After a quick dip in soapy water, the residue came right off and they were as smooth as silk. Once I got them going, these quickly became my favorite product in the whole Hook Nook collection and I gave them nine out of 10 hooks. Now they won't replace my go-to Susan Bates hooks, but these are great to drop in my suitcase when traveling. We'll wrap things up with another fun kit from the Hook Nook. This is the Notions Kit. According to the We Crochet website, this little case keeps all of your crafting must-haves in one spot. The felt zipper pouch contains scissors, stitch markers, tapestry needles, and a retractable tape measure. The whole kit costs $19.99. The pouch itself feels really nice, much like the project bag, and is complete with the metal logo marker. Inside, I went for the scissors first and I knew at first touch that these felt a little bit cheap. The plastic handle and the flimsy metal reminded me of those second grade safety scissors. I grabbed some wool yarn to try them out and well, you saw what happened. Scissors are kind of a big deal in the maker community and these just weren't up for the job. There is an extra little elastic tag here which is a perfect size for the hook nook hooks. I like that nice touch. Next were the hexagon stitch markers, which I'd heard a lot about. They're really cute and I do love gold, so we're off to a good start. You can use them as is if you're a knitter, but they are split markers, so you should be able to open them and use them for crochet. Emphasis on should be, because I just couldn't get them and I wasn't about to ruin my manicure to figure it out. Moving right along, let's take a look at these tapestry needles. Right off the bat, I was super happy to see that they were metal over plastic, kudos for that. There are two different sizes and they have bent tips which make it way easier to maneuver under loops when you're weaving in ends. I grabbed some super bulky yarn and tried out the largest needle and had no issues. I'm excited to add these to my collection. Last but not least was the tape measure. And as far as tape measures go, this one is actually pretty good. It's got a soft case with the Hook Nook branding on it. The tape extends and retracts easily and it goes up to 60 inches which is pretty standard. 
I so wanted to love this Notions pouch so much, but the corners that were cut here really show up in the quality. The pouch is nice enough, but I do feel like I'll end up replacing most of the stuff in here with Notions from my own stash. I'm giving the Hook Nook Notions kit 5 out of 10 hooks. It's a great concept, but there's definitely some room for improvement. So, which of these products are your favorites? Drop down in the comments and let me know. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for even more crochet pro tips, patterns, and product reviews. I hope you'll try out some of these, the Hook Nook Notions, for yourself. Find a link to the full collection in the description below. I'm Tony of TL Yarn Crafts, and I'll see you next time.